Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the definitions of number systems. In the last session, I already explained few definitions. In the last session, we discussed about natural numbers. We discussed about natural numbers. And uh, second one, whole numbers. These definitions we already finished in the last session. Integers and next rational numbers, rational numbers and irrational numbers, rational numbers and irrational numbers. These five def definitions are completed in the last session. Now, in this session, we will discuss about uh, what are factors, what are factors, what are prime numbers, what are prime numbers, what are composite numbers, what are composite numbers, and next, twin prime numbers, twin prime numbers, and uh, co-prime numbers, twin prime and co-prime numbers. Okay, all these five we will discuss in this session and one more is there that is a prime triplet. Prime triplet. We will discuss uh, these definitions uh, in this session. First, we will start with the uh, factors. Your factors is nothing but number which can be expressed as a product of two or more than two numbers. Uh, those numbers are called as factors. Suppose, for example, if you take a small example, 6. 6 can be written as either 1 into 6 or as 2 into 3. Here, all these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 6, all these numbers are called as factors of 6. All these numbers are called as factors of 6. Similarly, if you take an example of 8, here 8 is nothing but 1 into 8 and also 2 into 4. 1, 2, 4, 8. All these are factors of 8. All these are factors of 8. So, the factor is nothing but numbers which can be expressed as a product of uh, 2 or more than 2 numbers and those numbers are called as uh, factors. Okay. Now, why I explained factors means uh, to learn the concept of uh, prime numbers, uh, factors plays a major role. Prime numbers is nothing but here the number which are having exactly two factors. Numbers which are having exactly two factors. Those numbers are called as prime numbers. Two numbers, numbers are having exactly two factors. That is one and itself. Those factors are one and itself. For every number, one is a factor and itself is a factor. Here for the number 6, one is a factor, itself is a factor. For the number 8, one is definitely a factor, eight, itself is 8. That is also one of the factor. And uh, these two numbers are not prime numbers. Why? Because uh, here, according to definition of prime numbers, it must have exactly two factors. Uh, for this number, we are having four factors. For this number also, we are having four factors. Therefore, these two are not prime numbers. Now, up to 100, what are the prime numbers? Up to 100, what are the prime numbers? I will write all the prime numbers here. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 12, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97. 97. Once count how many prime numbers uh, 
do you have up to 100? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Total 25 prime numbers. Total 25 prime numbers up to 100. Up to 100. Total 25 prime numbers. And next, what is meant by composite number? What is meant by composite number? Here, composite number is nothing but composite number means composite number. Composite numbers are nothing but uh, numbers which are having more than two factors. More than two factors. Those numbers are called as uh, composite numbers. Some people will say that uh, other than prime numbers, all those numbers are called as uh, composite numbers. That is the wrong definition. Here composite numbers means uh, more than two factors. Numbers which are having more than two factors, then those numbers are called as composite numbers. What is the difference between uh, other than prime numbers and uh, more than two factors? If you take an example of one, if you take an example of one, for the number one, we are having only factor one. One is one only, itself is also one. Only one factor is there. So, 1 is neither prime number, 1 is neither prime number nor composite number, nor composite number. Because the reason is, uh, here the number 1 is having only one factor, only one factor. But for prime number, we must require exactly two factors, whereas for composite numbers, uh, more than two factors. Uh, here you can take uh, any number other than 1. Other than 1 you can take uh, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14 and so on. All these are composite numbers. All these are composite numbers and the definition is numbers which are having more than 2 factors. These are composite numbers. And next twin prime number. Twin prime number. Twin prime numbers is nothing but two prime numbers with a difference of two. Two prime numbers, two prime numbers with a difference of two. With a difference of two. Then those two prime numbers are called as uh, twin prime number. As the name itself suggests that uh, twin prime. Twin prime in the sense uh, there must be two prime numbers. There must be two prime numbers. And how the two prime numbers will be? That is, uh, those two prime numbers with a difference of uh, two. Here, example for twin prime numbers. Example for twin prime numbers, which is nothing but if you take uh, 3 comma 5. Here, 3 and 5 both are prime numbers and the difference between these two is uh, two. And next, if you take uh, 11 and 13, 11 and 13, and uh, next one, 17 and 19, and next one, 29, 31, and next one, 41, 43, all these are twin prime numbers. All these are twin prime numbers. Only one thing is uh, two prime numbers with a difference of two. Those numbers are called as uh, twin prime numbers. And next one. Next one is co-prime numbers. Co-prime numbers. What is meant by co-prime number? Co-prime number is nothing but two numbers two numbers doesn't have any common factor. Doesn't have any common factor. Any common factor. Except one. Except one. Then those two numbers are called as uh, co-prime numbers. Here I am not talking about prime numbers. I am talking about two numbers. 
you can take any numbers any two numbers whether those two numbers are both are both are prime numbers both are composite numbers or else the one number is prime number one number is composite number it doesn't matter but those two numbers doesn't have any common factor except one and why we are saying except one means because one is a factor of each and every number suppose for example if you take any prime numbers if you take the combinations of prime numbers definitely those numbers are co primes only why because prime numbers are having exactly two factors one and itself so every prime numbers combination every two prime numbers combination is a co prime number whatever the prime number combination you have taken whether it is 31 43 2 5 all those are co primes only and now if you take one prime number one composite number 3 comma 8 Three is a prime number. Eight is a composite number. Four comma nine. Here both are composite numbers. Four is a composite number. Nine is also a composite number. Four comma nine. Here there is no restriction of the numbers are prime numbers. Those numbers might be both are prime numbers, both are composite numbers, or else one is prime number, one is composite number. It doesn't matter. But only thing is. those two numbers doesn't have any common factor except one those are called as co prime numbers and last one is prime triplet prime triplet last one in this session prime triplet means uh, here triplet in the sense three prime numbers prime triplet triplet means three prime triplet means uh, three prime numbers uh, three prime numbers how the three prime numbers will be that is the question here three prime numbers three prime numbers with a difference of 2 three prime numbers with a difference of 2 with a difference of 2 then those three prime numbers are called as a prime triplet if you take an example of 3 5 7 if you take an example of 3 5 7 these three are one prime triplet these three are one prime triplet and remember there is exactly only one prime triplet only one prime triplet in the entire number system in the entire number system only one prime triplet is there that is 3 5 there is no other prime triplet why because if you take the numbers beyond 100 also here initially previously we have written all the compo all the prime numbers up to 100 if you see all the prime numbers up to 100 there is uh, no other prime triplet other than 357 357 is one combination there is no other combination which is having uh, the difference of 2 uh, continuously 29 31 2 but after that this is 37 gap is uh, uh, 6 37 41 gap is 4 here the gap is 2 again here the gap is uh, 4 so in the entire number system we are having exactly one prime triplet other than 3 5 7 there is no other prime triplet only one prime triplet these are all the important definitions uh, in number system in the next session we will discuss about the divisibility rules of number system thank you thanks for watching